Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakahakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwath that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I um, just wanted to touch on this article um, with the World Bank. It says World Bank demands end to farming by 2023. It's like your 2030 to combat climate crisis, right? And Esau, man, lost his damn mind. <laughs> That's why we need out of here, man. We praying to Yahweh about Shimei was shot to hasten the day that we can get out of here, get out of the, um, you know, the from underneath this man's captivity, so to speak, you know, because this man is, is nuts. Okay, it says the World Bank has issued a directive to Western nations to completely abolish farming. In order to achieve net zero emissions by 2030, the plan includes closing down farms globally and placing them under the control of the World Economic Forum. Now, these are actual people that's not even um, who voted for these people. And, and they're on a world level, but they, they you know, they, they making plans for you Americans. <laughs> it says um, the plan includes closing down farms globally, placing them under the control of a few World Economic Forum young global leaders such as bill gates who will then radically alter the way food is grown of course you know this guy he's got the lab meat you know he's trying to you know they talking about eating down bugs feeding you bugs all kinds of stuff it is it's, it's enough that all the food is processed already down there you know what i'm saying um you, you get no nutrients out of it um most of it is is gmos so this man gotta go he's gotta go man <laughs> he has got to go it says, according to the memo from the World Bank, the elimination of traditional farming and a significant reduction in food production will help combat global boiling. While the food on your table may taste good, it is also a hefty slice of the climate change emissions pie, said Axel Van Trostenberg of the World Bank. Come on, bro. Who, who, aren't you? OK, so you 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 over the World Bank. Where's your science credentials and all this other shit? It's just like Bill Gates. You know what I'm saying? He, he's, he's into computers, but he's out here telling you about, you know, the, 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 you know, the shots and shit like that, the medicines and things of that nature. He's this, this guy, you, you know, he, he has absolutely no doctor credentials, but, you know, so th here you go. You got this World Bank guy. No, you're dealing with money. You're dealing with notes. What do you, what do you know about the, uh, the, 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 the emissions and the climate? That shit is retarded, man. Anyway, it says, NeutralNews.com reports that the global food system can heal the planet by making soils, ecosystems, and people healthier while keeping carbon in the ground. However, countries must act now, changing how middle-income countries use land such as forests and ecosystems for food production can cut agri-food emissions by a third by 2030 the report states and in, instead of promoting diverse agricultural practices that local family farmers have been perfecting for centuries practices that are beneficial to the environment the world bank proposes eliminating agriculture entirely in some areas this push has already been observed in the netherlands and other parts of western europe Esau, man. But well, let me grab this real quick. Let's get that Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See? Because they're in control to do this. They, they can pull hey, this, this, if this is what they want, they're, they're gonna get it. It's nothing nobody can do to stop it. They're in control of your finances, they're in control of, you know what I'm saying, just, just laws in general. See, so <laughs> get set, man. And we're definitely in the last days. This is why we do these lessons, man, to tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you um, Israelites, hey, look, man, y'all got to wake up, repent to the Father Yahweh, which is the true name of the Father. It's Yahweh, meaning he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. So you have to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. There's no white Jesus coming to save you, man. That, that's, that's most of the problem that's going on with the world. White Jesus, man. The, the idol, white Jesus. Because the letter J is not in, in the Hebrew alphabet. There's no letter E in the Hebrew alphabet. There's no letter U, no letter V, no letter um, O. The letter J was invented in 1524. 
by a guy named Trasino. There was no letter J when the Lord walked the earth. There was nobody calling on Jehovah and Jesus. Those are idols, man. That's, that's all idol worship. It's Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. And you need to repent because these people, all this right here is prophetic. Because what it's going to boil down to is Revelation 13, 16. Let's get that real quick. Real simple, man. Revelation 13, 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So they got the get down. If you don't, the World Bank, they're going to be the ones that's in control of whether or not you can go purchase anything anyway. They're already talking about digital this, digital that. And we already know that people are already getting these, um, you know, these, imp these implants in within them. You can go on YouTube right now and see people making payments with a chip in their hand. That's nothing. That's, that's old news from way, way back too at that. So all they're doing is pretty much, they're, uh, you know, running into a, a, a digital platform, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? A set. Every, it's already ready to go. It's ready. To, in, you know, they have all the, the technology there. It's just a couple of more maybe moves or whatever they're going to do or however they're going to do it. Because you got um, the de-dollarization going on. I just seen an article on that with China and just the BRICS nations in general. So. We can look for something to happen soon, man. You know, <laughs> let's get chapter 14, verse nine, Revelation 14 and nine. Because this is the seriousness of it, if you take this man's shit. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. See, so it's going to be really, really, it's going to be a harsh punishment if you take what this man is pushing. As a matter of fact, verse, chapter 16, verse 2 right here. Revelation um, 16 and 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his, his image. So there's no telling what kind of sores those are going to be. Big ass boils. All you pretty ass women, you know what I'm saying? That love your skin so much. Big ass boil break out on your forehead, your damn cheeks. You out here looking like walking dead, the walking dead. Your kids looking like the walking dead. So you better renounce. You better, you better, hey, don't. And, and I see a lot of, see a lot of people in the comment boards of these stories. They know what's up. They'll, they'll even mention these, these particular verses right here. But guess what? If, if they don't repent, and, 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 and this is for only Israelites anyway. Only the Israelites can repent because they were the only ones that were given the law, statutes, and commandments, first off. So these other nations, they're, they're, for, they're fair game. So-called Chinese, so-called Japanese, so-called white people, so-called, you know, all these nations, they're going to take that shit anyway. They might as well because they you, really <laughs> they, they, they don't have no chance at um, or shot at salvation. And they're carnal. These are your Gentiles. But see, the Lord, he's extending that 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 hand of, you know, saying, hey, look, come back to me. I got you. You know, y'all been messing up. I don't whoop your ass long enough. Come back to me. But you're going to have to repent. You're going to come back to me. You know what I'm saying? Where you can have some some sense of safety, man, because it's about to get crazy out here. What do you think people are going to you can clearly see? I think I mean, me speaking as a man with the food that's going on right now. Look at how people are acting right now. Look at the way people act. Look at the road rage. Look at the, 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 the people don't have no patience. It's like, you know, these people go to these fast food restaurants and eat this bullshit anyway. And they be nutting up, man. It was a lady just, um, the brother just done a lesson on her yesterday. She whips out her, her damn pistol at McDonald's and shit over a goddamn cookie. You got people that's done been shot and, 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 and deleted over um, mayo, guacamole. It was a guy, uh, a shot of uh, a guy um, 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 in Chipotle here over some damn guacamole, man. So the food already got all those additives in it where people are just, they got to have it, man. Now, we, we try and do the best that we can as far as like our foods. Even though, you know, the scripture talks about, let me get the blue letter real quick. Scripture talks about how we will eat our um, bread to foul amongst the Gentiles. So the food is foul anyway. So, but we do have to try and make 
the very best decisions that we possibly can. Let me see. Uh, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. We're cursed like that. But again, you know, the scriptures also talks about, you know, um, over, you know, roughly paraphrasing to an extent that, you know, Jacob can't, you know, no enchantment. You know, can can pretty much overcome Jacob, man. The Lord has really, you know, um, blessed us, man. We're at, we're cursed, but we're blessed at the same time. You know, he we're not getting what we should be getting. I'll put it that way. The type of punishment that we should be getting from the Lord, we're not we're, we're not getting it, man. We don't even deserve to even be able to call on Him. But anyway, this is um, Ezekiel four and thirteen, and Yahweh said, "Even thus shall the children of Israel." eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I would drive them. Because I'm telling you now, they, they already got lab meat. You Google it. You know, I don't, I'm not going to go that far off into it, but they, yeah, they got lab-grown meats. They got, um, uh, 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 you know, just, just all the food. Salmon. They got, um, 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 you know, GMO salmon, you know, um, GMO fish and certain, you know, just GMO shit everywhere. Grapes with no seeds, watermelons with no seeds, the damn lemons, the limes, the grapefruit, all the citrus fruits don't have no, you know, you come across a lot of that shit, don't have no seeds in it no more. So what are you really eating? You're supposed to be able to go and get those particular types of things and whip it up, take the juices, you know, certain herbs and, you know, spices, certain things. You know, you're supposed to be able to, you know, whip something up, man, and, and get healing from the food. You need, it's supposed to give you nutrients. It's supposed to make you stronger, give you your strength back. That's what food is supposed to do. It's supposed to replenish you, not drain you. Here this man go, man. This mother. <laughs> oh, man. You go to McDonald's, man, and, and, and order a Big Mac and fries. You fuck around and drop. You can, you, you know, it, it's people that found half a cheeseburgers underneath their they car seats, man. And fries that still look the same as the day that they bought them from years ago. <laughs> you know, so, hey, this thing is getting real, man. This man is out of his goddamn mind. Let's see here, though. What else they had in there? And there's a lot more articles, too, man. There's a lot going on out here right now. Okay, it says the World Bank plan calls for a comprehensive approach to reducing emissions in food systems, including fertilizers and energy, crop and livestock production and packaging and distribution across the, va the value chain from farm to table. The organization acknowledges the financial aspect of his proposal, noting that annual investments need to increase 260 billion a year to cut agri-food emissions in half by 2030 and to reach net zero emissions by 2050. And that's another thing too, Esau's proud as hell. This place is not gonna last in no damn 20, 2050. We pray that it don't last to 2030. That's for sure. We pray it don't last to 2025. You know, damn 2050, but that show you how proud this man is. You'll never hear them saying, well, if, if it's the Lord's will, in 2050, we're going to do this. No, nah, you ain't about to hear Esau talking that way. Esau just, he, he, he doesn't believe in the Lord, man. Okay, but it says, um, these investments could lead to more than $4 trillion in benefits, including improvements in health, human health, food, nutrition, security, better quality jobs, profits for farmers, and more carbon retained in forests and soils. Critics warn of the potential risks associated with the ambi ambitious project. Ultimately, the World Bank's ambitious project to restructure global agriculture under underestimates the risk of unintended consequences, including food shortages, economic dis um, disruption, and increased hardship for the most vulnerable. Said Watts. Up. Uh, okay. So, hey. So somebody got some sense. But like I said, hey, and you can tell these stories be hot. It's got this. It's got a little over um four um four thousand um comments. I rarely see comments get that high in um you know these articles normally. They can get pretty high, but you know that that's letting you know that people are really you know talking about it. You know, or people because there ain't nobody in here with this shit. I read through uh, you know all the comments I read through. <laughs> I didn't see nobody agreeing with this at all. They don't want nothing to do with the Frankenstein man. But guess what? You hey, you eat them, my y'all gonna have to deal. These are your people. See? And cut it out with the with the government this, government that shit. We don't want to hear that it's, it's it's the government. Keep all that shit to yourself. What the government is, is you so-called white people. That's a, that's who the government is. <laughs> you know, I always see these comments, yeah, the government this and the government. Well, who's running the government? We just read Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. 
Who's running the earth? Who you think is in control that has enough control to pull some shit like this off? Who? I just seen a, what was it, another um, article. It was yesterday where they was talking about a chemical from World War II that was that was used supposedly as a nerve agent, you know, um, as a, um, you know, a weapon. And they, they, they spraying the shit on the crops, man, right here in the Americas. It's banned in all these other um, countries, but right here in the Americas, they allowing these motherfuckers to spray that shit. I just seen it yesterday. I, I forgot what it was called. So this man is getting down, man. He, he's getting down pretty, 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 pretty cold out here, man. Uh, hey, all we can do is kick back, wait on the Lord. Continue on praying. Continue on standing in these scriptures. Continuing on praying and asking for mercy, man. Because it's going to come a point where this man is going to shut everything down and it's going to be like you. They already on that mode of you have no choice but to come to me. Bring your children with you. You're going to have those few people that's going to be out here. They done hoarded up or they done, you know, um, put away a couple of canned goods and shit like that. You know, they done put it, put away some bottled waters and got, you know, got some tuna fish and ramen noodles and all that shit right there. But once they run through all that, then what they going to do? Belly's going to get to growling. The kid's going to get to screaming and hollering. Then it's just going to come to a point where they're going to have that pitiful look on the face. And mama taking them through. She's going to get her little little imprint, um, implant. And she's going to bring them kids along too. And some of these men, they're going to fall for it as well. Because they, they, they love their woman and they love their children. But hey, you got to be to a point where hey, you, 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 you willing to risk and lose all that. Because the Lord told you what's up. Don't deal with this man. Don't trust in this man. You see what I'm saying? So, and if you do, you, you take what he's trying to offer you, then you, you pr pretty much saying, hey, this man is my God. <laughs> for real, for real. But well, let me get one more before I'm out. Yes, yeah, a lot of articles, man. A lot of interesting articles that's out here right now. And, and you know, we just at a point of pretty, you know, pretty much keeping it overall straight and simple to the point. These lessons are getting, you know, you know, brothers be doing longer lessons, but these lessons are getting a little bit shorter now, you know, just because it's just straight to the point. It's straight, straight, straight to the point. You grab the scriptures, you read the article or the headline or whatever it is, and you, you, you break it down with the scriptures, man. With the Lord, time diligently. We giving you what, what the Lord said will be happening in the end days. We breaking it down with the, with the news story. You can clearly see it's going on, right? Well, let me get this real quick. Um, Isaiah 31. Because a lot of our people are very dependent upon Esau and his kingdom, man. And it's entitled, this is a great title um, they have on it too. Help not in Egypt, but in Yahweh. It says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And Egypt is modern day spiritual, e America is, is modern day spiritual Egypt. That's why you'll see that pyramid on the back of the dollar. And they have all these, you know, because e America got a lot of so-called African customs, man, that people don't really realize. It says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. You're supposed to be looking to the Holy One of Israel, man, and seeking the Lord in these, in, in these times, man, and every day. Just in general, the scripture says to um, lean not to thy own understanding, but to trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh He'll direct your steps. You're supposed to be dependent upon him on a day-to-day -day basis. No matter what goes down, you know, certain things happen. You know what I'm saying? But still, you're supposed to be standing on, standing on the Lord, standing on his word, trusting in what he said. Don't let nothing deter you from that, ever. Even though not, you know, in, in the midst of everything looking crazy as hell. Got to be, got to be on point with that because, um, let me get another one since I'm in here. Isaiah 33 and 6. Got to get on these scriptures, man. Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You want that fear of the Lord, man. This wisdom, this knowledge. See, the people that don't know this, they, they're going to be through. They just going to run straight to the so-called white man like, you want me to do what? Oh, OK. How many shots you want me to take? You want me to sit where? You want me to come back when? On the 15th? <laughs> for my, you know, for, for a touch up? 
This man is ready to put uh, 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 some shit in you, man. He's about to get down, man. Esau, it, man. That dude, this dude not playing. As you know. <laughs> Say, Yahweh Ratazah, Salakia. Yahweh willing, this will be the last scripture. <laughs> Revelation 12 and 12. But hey, we move in the spirit, man. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. These damn devils, man, hey, they, they coming down with great wrath right now. They about to get real busy. See, you ain't seen the, 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 the real, real hookup, but you can clearly see they in the workings, man, and they moving quick as shit, and they not holding back. These types of stories, you never used to hear about no shit. These used to be just, you know, ah, uh, well, I heard. That's a conspiracy theory. No, these motherfuckers is really coming out and telling you right flat out out of their mouth, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, that's why I said you about this eye lock you. You willing. Let's get Psalm 64 and 8. It says, so then it says, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So they're telling on themselves now. They don't care no more because they know that they have but a short time. So they just like, fuck it, full fledged, full steam ahead. Yeah, we know they know. We don't care, you know, but we don't have a lot of time. Fuck what they got to say. We already in control to the point where they can't do nothing about it anyway. We just going to full steam ahead. But the scriptures talks about as soon as he put that spoon to his mouth, though, roughly paraphrasing. That's when the Lord going to get down out here, man. The Lord is going to make an example out of this guy like he made out of um, Pharaoh, man, in Egypt. Especially uh, these Americas, Babylon the Great, man. This is a very, very wicked ass place. Because at least some of those other countries, like in Russia, the, the pesticides and, and, and um, the shit that they spray on the food here, that shit is illegal over there. There's a few of those European countries, you know what I'm saying, that's holding out. Like, nah, man, no, 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 no. We love our citizens. We're not um, uh, allowing our kids and babies to eat that shit. Here you go in the Americas, man. They, they, they push that shit. They allow anybody to come in here and sell anything, man. It don't make no difference what. And then, you know... <coughs> You you getting all these articles coming to find out this candy does this to you these chips does this to you this this this, this, this you know this fast food does this to you this 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 and this you thinking that you eating healthy even if you going somewhere you eating you think even whole food type shit come to find out you know what I'm saying a lot of that stuff is not what they're saying it is man they putting 100 percent natural on there and all these different things you know what I'm saying but it's not really what it is you know. It's not giving you any nutrients, man. Food's supposed to give you energy. That shit not supposed to make you fucking fall over and go to sleep, man. So we got to watch ourselves, man, with a lot of that stuff. So, you know, I'm going to end out there, man. I thought this was a very interesting article. I seen it this morning when I first got up. I'm just getting around to it. But, hey, we moving the spirit, man. This is crazy. This was by um, Christy Tallman, May 21st, 2024. This shit, let, me, let, me, let me read this back again. It says the World Bank has issued notice to Western nations that they must abolish farming in order to achieve net zero emissions. Now, you, come on, bro. It's always been farming. Thousands of years people have been farming. It's thousands of years it's been animals. Matter of fact, it's another article, too. Let me see here. They had one talking about the bison. So, um, so lock here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, going to my history real quick. I seen this one too. Disaster strikes agriculture industry as merciless phenomenon. <laughs> this lock here kills millions of livestock. The worst yet, to, the worst is yet to come. See, it's articles like this all over. This is the one right here. It says herd of 170 bison capable of storing co2 emissions equivalent to 43,000 u.s cars so they trying to say 170 animals got the the equivalent of of, of 40,000 43,000 cars man of, of carbon um emissions these fucking people man and who's to say how, how would you know other than he what he's telling you how would you know and see this is how this man gets down man he'll get down on you man with that um you know uh 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 Misinformation, you know, a lot of that shit went down, you know, during the COV-19. They were shutting down all kinds of channels. You don't believe in what we believe? You're not saying what we saying? <laughs> this man can tell you some shit like this right here and you just supposed to believe him.
Oh, yeah, three billion years ago, there was such and such. such. You're just supposed to believe this man because he said it. And you know what? A lot of our people fall for that shit. Here you go. You, you know how many bison was here in the Americas before the so-called white man came here and slaughtered all of them? And when none of this global shit, this, this climate change shit going on back then, man. Y'all done damn near knocked off a few. It, it, it's a few um, animals supposedly extinct. Y'all done knocked off a gang of damn animals. So, so, so what, what are you saying here? Anyway, I'm going I'm to I'm end out there, man. Just know that we are very, very close to that MOTB, that C-hip, man. That mark of the beauty and the beast, I call it. This is what it's all boiling down to. This is what it's building up to. This man is going to starve everybody into submission. And if you don't have your Hawa Bashim Yahweh on your side, you're going to fall for it. And it's that simple, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.